Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, and my channel is all about twin flames, ascension, and helping you with your spiritual awakening and your journey to get better and to do it the right way. In this video, I want to talk to you about limerence versus twin flames. So what about limerence? What actually is limerence? Well, this is a word that essentially means having a romantic obsession about someone and for whatever reason it's not returned. It is frequently thought to be something of passion, but again without any return on it. The person can feel obsessive and usually it has a tinge of melancholy and unrequited love. Now this is how many people feel on the twin flame journey. They feel that they've met someone, it's not returned, they get ghosted. There's a very familiar pattern which is why you see tons of videos out there about running and chasing and I'm going to tell you something running is going to be a thing of the past chasing is going to be a thing of the past at some point we're not there yet when it comes to limerence many times this is looked at as a somewhat of a uh, bad ending to a relationship that never really happened. There's tons of articles in psychology today about it because the phrase gets turned around. But what is happening in reality is people are ascending out of those base levels where the soul just doesn't want to live there anymore. Their, their soul doesn't want them to be someone's side piece or to get you know, played or get ghosted or to get any of the things that have happened in the past. To an extent, these are memorable patterns, which means they are a part of our body memories, their ancestral patterns, they are parental patterns of relationship. And it's frequently thought that this is some inadequacy in the childhood, that the person somehow wasn't loved sufficiently as a child. But if you look at it, the scope out of a soul, from a soul level, why would a soul want their human inside to like go through this again and again and again? Why would they want them to repeat the parental patterns of limited childhoods and limited love and you know childhood abandonment and not somehow rise up out of that? That is what this ascension and journey is about. It's about rising up out of those levels so that the patterns don't have to be repeated. So that the person has a genuine chance of a successful romantic relationship. It's not that they don't want to be romantic they're feeling romance. They want to express romance. They want that person. They want responses. They want to be with somebody. These are all real valid things and they're not wrong. It just may be the wrong person. So when they go to talk to a professional who knows nothing about twin flames, nothing about twin flame ascension or the journey, you know, they just tag it on there. Well, you're suffering from limerence. Do you want to continue suffering for real? Because I'm going to tell you the difference. Number one, limerence is a soulmate thing. Yeah, karmic soulmates soulmates who can be good and then they can turn bad doesn't mean that they're beating you or abusing you but sometimes the passion just isn't there the magic left the romance isn't there or it's one-sided or you go to a professional who says hey well why don't you try this and that but it somehow doesn't spark it up again that's when you know it's a soulmate thing and that has died and it's like glowing embers it's never going to come to life and it becomes a dead thing twin flames have exact matching etheric bodies one of the hugest difference with twin flames versus someone experiencing limerence is the energetic component. There is an energy. It is a third energy, as we call it. It is an energetic component that affects your etheric body, your chakras, the inner areas, the outer areas, your body systems, you start purging. There's all of that. Your brand new light body that is burgeoning out to push all that crap out. Number two, limerence is not psychological. It's not psychological. It is a memory. It's tied to the limbic system. It is more close to OCD, ADHD. It's like a hyperactivity of the synapses that is remembering and trying to grasp. And when you're a twin flame, those parts begin to heal. Okay, however they've been affected. So you could say, are there some damaged tissues for your mental health somewhere inside the head? Yeah, sometimes it's in your head, but it's the actual tissues that have a memory of when things went wrong and now want to fix it or correct it or get it on a better track. The next thing is, is that your limbic system is connected to other people's mental, emotional bodies. They've learned how to manipulate you. They learn every button to push. They keep trying, they will wear you down. And when your soul doesn't want anymore, your soul sets that line in the sand and says, no more. We're not falling for these old tricks and deceptions and we're not self-deceiving ourselves. 
We need real things that get us up and out of those levels. No, we're not just some adult people who have nothing better to do than obsess about someone. We're, that is not who we are, is it? No, I didn't think so. Number three, real twin flames are able to begin some form of merge or integration that is necessary. Now, a lot of those are spontaneous and they are passive, meaning your soul is doing it for you. The flip side of that or the other piece of that means that you have to be proactive to continue that process. It is a process and it's a journey. We like to say that. But if you're not proactive, you just start bobbing in the water and you don't get anywhere with it and you're wondering. So the twin Twin flame journey, when we go to integrate our light bodies, this is actually to push out all of the ill effect that someone might be trying to label you about. Do you need a label or do you need to be called a lover? Because frankly, that's what this is about. It's about love, about your soul loving you into health. It's about you wanting to love yourself into a healthy relationship. It's about you loving yourself enough to say no, but to have the inner fortitude. Why? Because that's all rising up to release those strings of connection, those bonds, the bonds that hurt and harm us, trauma bonds. Sometimes it's you know what I call some of those soulmates? They're not anybody in terms of who your soul is. And they're not passionate. They're just there. They're like, you know, an old slipper or something. Comfy. But soon the comfort level fades. So if you really need to know the difference between limerence and twin flames, the twin flame, the energy, it's not just energy. That energy is the energy of love, but it's from another level that parts of your body are receptors for. It's time to learn, learn and use the real connections that are inherent to you so that you can do this, feel better, and really get on track with where you're going. So I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe. Please get to know our practitioners. If you you're interested in doing this work because there will be a need for it, please check out my five module twin flame practitioner course. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.